So in my last video, I briefly mentioned that I've been trading in the cryptocurrency market. Now, I had several of you message me asking how you can get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the basics today in this video. But before I begin, I have to make it clear that I am not a financial advisor. Don't take this as financial advice. And if you choose to invest in this market, please understand that this is a very high risk market and do not invest more than what you're willing to lose. So this market is very volatile. It is not uncommon to see 20, 30, 40% swings every single day. So if you're on the right side of the trade, it's pretty easy to see that you can make some very quick profits. However, if you're on the wrong side, then you can lose a lot of money very quickly. So there's pretty much two ways that you could go about doing this. You could be an investor or you could be a trader. Now, if you choose to be an investor, that typically means that you would purchase some cryptocurrency and hold on to it. Uh, basically, you could be holding on to it for a few months or even a few years and hoping that that value of that cryptocurrency will appreciate. Now, if you choose to be a trader, you would typically focus on short term profits, meaning you would purchase a cryptocurrency and utilize the volatility of the market to sell in and out of trades. Uh, basically, it goes down to the buy low, sell high. Now, if you're anything like me, you're probably going to be a mixture of both. I do have some coins that I hold long term as long term investments, so I'm not too concerned about the fluctuation in prices. However, there are other coins that I do trade short term and I do utilize that fluctuation to get quick profits. So it's really up to you to evaluate what your goals are and what level of risk you're willing to take. Now this market pretty much revolves around Bitcoin. Now if you're not familiar with Bitcoin, I do have a video that I made back in 2013 about what is Bitcoin. Now it's a little dated, but it still should give you some good information and give you a head start on your own research. Now I will put a link to that video as well as anything else I cover in this video down below. Now the first thing that you need to do is to buy Bitcoin. Now there's a few different ways that you can go about doing that, but the way that I always recommend to people new to this market is to go through Coinbase. Coinbase has been around for a very long time and they're pretty much the most reliable and trusted source to get Bitcoin. And all you have to do is just go onto coinbase.com and sign up for an account. Now you will have to go through a verification process where you verify your identity. So don't be alarmed if it's asking you for personal information. This is required by law. Once you've been verified and have linked up your bank account and or your credit card, you can now go ahead and buy some cryptocurrency. Now currently Coinbase offers Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Litecoin. What I'm going to show you now is how I purchased $200 worth of Bitcoin. You basically just select Bitcoin and choose buy. From there, you can select how much Bitcoins you would like to purchase. In this case, I am choosing $200 worth. In regards to the payment options, if you choose to pay through your bank account, the fees will be lower. However, it will take a few days before you receive your coins. That's why I typically use credit card as my form of payment. However, the fees will be higher. Since I am purchasing this with my credit card, as soon as I hit purchase, the coins will be available in my online wallet immediately. So if you decide to be just an investor and you want to hold this coin long term, then you're pretty much done. You could leave the Bitcoin in your wallet and check it every few months, every few years, whatever you like. It's almost guaranteed that the value of Bitcoin will appreciate throughout the years. However, if you want to trade Bitcoin for other cryptocurrencies, this is where you would need to transfer your Bitcoin onto an exchange. You can imagine the exchange being like the stock market where you would have a brokerage account allowing you to purchase shares of companies. But in this case, we are purchasing coins. There are several different exchanges that you can use from, but if you're new, I definitely recommend using Bitrix. Bitrix, in my opinion, has the best reliability as well as the best user experience. And again, I'll leave all the links down below. And once you're on the exchange's website, you're gonna go ahead and create an account. And again, you may have to verify your identity. This is pretty much standard with anything that has to do with money. And once you're in your account, you could click on your wallet and choose which coin you wanna deposit into the exchange. So you wanna move over to the deposit icon and once you click on it, your wallet address will appear. 
you want to carefully copy the entire wallet address. This is very, very important step. And once you have that copied, you could go back to Coinbase, choose send, select how much you want to send, and paste in your wallet address. At this point, I typically will double check the address. Again, the, the wallet address is very important. Once you have that pasted in, you could go ahead and click send. So what you want to know about this transfer so you don't freak out is that the transfer of Bitcoin is actually kind of slow these days. It could take 15, 20, maybe even 30 minutes before you actually see the available balance on the exchange. And once you see your Bitcoins available in the exchange, now you could go to the exchange market and choose which coin you would like to trade. Now there are over 800 different cryptocurrencies. So it's really up to you to do your research and to find out which coins you want to invest in. Now in this example, I am gonna purchase a coin under the name GNT, which is Golem. Now for me, this is personally a project that I believe in and it's a project that I actually wanna use in the future. So once you select your coins market, you'll then be presented with some charts your buy and sell books, and the transaction history. This is where you're gonna go ahead and place your order. Now, if you wanted to purchase the coin at its current price, you could just select the price and click buy. However, for me, I typically don't like to purchase the asking price. I typically set my buy order a little bit below the asking price. And once you click buy, your order will now be placed in the order books and hopefully it will get fulfilled. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now it's always recommended that once you purchase your coin to remove it off of the exchange and transfer it to your actual wallet. Now, like I said, Coinbase only offers Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin as of right now. So if you're purchasing a different coin, you're gonna need a wallet. And the best way to do that is just go to the official website of that coin and use whatever the recommended wallet is. And after that, it's kind of up to you how you wanna play this game. Do you wanna hold it long term or do you wanna trade in and out of it? That's something that you're gonna to have to decide, but I definitely encourage you to do a lot of research. There's a lot of stuff that I left out in this video just due to the time, but if you have any specific questions or just uh, general questions, leave a comment down below and I can make additional videos about this. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.